Hi, I'm Joni Patree, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, I want to talk about something that probably not very many of you have heard about, but it is a really big deal. <laughs> and it is called Kasimi. And when a planet comes together exactly with the sun, that means that planet is called Kasimi. And that means that they become one. Doesn't happen all the time, but yes, it will happen for certain planets every year, a certain time of the year. And so what I'm talking about is Venus is about to be Cassini the Sun. And this does happen once a year, but pay attention when it does, because it is really remarkable. So I'm looking at the dates to be exact, June 2nd through the 7th that Venus and the Sun will unite. Now in the middle of those days is going to be the exactness of Venus 1 with the Sun. But as soon as they come together the same degree, they start coming together as one. Now before I explain what this means, I want to remind everyone to sign up for my free newsletter. Go to galacticcenter.org and you will get all my predictions delivered free to your email every week. And also while you're there, remember to check out my Patreon page. If you've been wanting to come and be part of a spiritual community, meet like-minded people, join Patreon at Joni Patree because this is where we're going to come together and have one-on-one -on -one conversations. Seriously, I do this with my Patreon people. You'll love it. As well as, don't forget my Galactic Planner, all these transits will be calculated to your personal chart and sent to you to, and it will automatically be loaded up into your calendar your daily calendar. So check this out. The first month's free. If you join now, go to galacticplanner.com. Let's get going and talk about Venus, Cassimi the Sun. One time I noted that when Venus was Cassimi the Sun was when the stock market went crazy and those mean stocks went sky high. Yes. I am talking about when those stocks went sky high and I'm talking about GameStop. Yes. And this is the kind of stuff that happens when Venus is Cassini the sun. So it's going to be Cassini the sun around 18 degrees, 19 degrees, and all the way to 22 degrees of Taurus. So together, the Sun and Venus become one. So the Sun, which normally when planets are too close to the Sun, it becomes combust. And the Sun burns it. And that planet is weakened incredibly. So you look at all these planets that come together, especially the three benefics that come together in May, which is Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, all together with the Sun. Well, it's great. It's actually a Saraswati Yoga when all three benefics come together in the same sign. But generally, because Mercury and Venus never get that far from the sun, the sun kind of weakens that beautiful yoga. As this time, Venus is going to be terribly weakened, except for the few days that it's Cassimi. And so Cassimi can be a great beautiful thing. But I'll tell you, it's great in one way and it's damaged in another way. Individuals that have Venus Cassini the Sun, one thing in their life is off the charts incredible, but there's another thing that that planet rules that is destroyed. Such as, for example, Oprah Winfrey has Venus Cassini the Sun. And they're in her second house. And Venus represents wealth. I always say Venus is the planet of billionaires while Jupiter is the planet of millionaires. So Venus is great luxury and wealth. It's made her incredibly wealthy, this Venus Cassini the Sun. Of course, there's other things with Paribartana and Venus and Saturn as well with the 11th house. 
but so it made her wealthy but Venus also rules relationships she's never been married nor has she had the greatest luck in relationships so you see it kind of one over rules the other one kind of takes a back seat and isn't very good it's weakened one of the areas that Venus rules and that's how it I've seen that in most people that have Venus Cassimi the Sun they're wealthy but their relationships don't work now another thing that I want you to know during this time period all these planets are going to be in Taurus and in the United States this is the time that the results from Trump's trial will be out now if you'll note it's going to all be in his 10th house which is his social standing public awareness as I said there's something good but there's something bad that's what it's going to be for Trump. Does he get indicted? If he does, which he could. Remember, these are three benefics in his 10th house. Something really good will come of it. That I know for sure, whether it looks like it or not. This could be the thing that makes him win the presidency. People are not in agreement with what's going on in the world. I don't care if you're in agreement with it or not in agreement with it. I'm telling you what the results are going to be with all three planets and Venus Cassini, the sun, around the time that the verdict comes out. Whatever happens, of course, he's going to be the headlines. It's in his 10th house. And I don't know about you, but I would like to see something different on television or the news or the news, whatever. It's, it's just cons all consuming, right? It's all consuming. I mean, this is better than him going out and trying to rev up people. This is like the best publicity he could be getting, whether you agree with it or not. I'm telling you, something really good comes from something not so good. And this whole thing's not so good, right? So whether or not he gets indicted, it is going to be in his favor for the long run because this is way, way too much energy. And really, anybody that has a Leo rising is going to be elevated in some way because all the benefics are there although Venus is for the most part what will probably happen is he'll get indicted and it'll be overturned it's probably will happen so but it's going to cause an uproar that is going to change I mean so much it is going to be an uproar mark my words there's too much of this energy that is insane so by the time probably the indictment or the ruling comes out venus will probably be combust the sun right where it's not within a degree of the sun then by the time of june 2nd through the 7th it is kasimi which means everything will change there'll be a huge overruling there'll be a big change and it's going to give some enormous favors like it or not you'll see what i mean it's crazy all these planets i wouldn't say this if it weren't in his 10th house it's remarkable what's going on astrologically so let's just see we'll see how this Kasimi and this Saraswati yoga all plays out in the 10th house of anyone that has a Leo rising but specifically Trump because he's in the news like it or not so with that I think I'll close remember if you would like more information on me 
go to my website galacticcenter.org and there you'll find my patreon page sign up for my free newsletter and don't forget my galactic planner go to galacticplanner.com get all of your predictions delivered to you on your calendar so you can know what days are good or not so good for certain things in your life with that i'll close thank you <laughs>